Hello all and thanks for joining us on this Paranormal Pit Stop. Tonight, we'll be exploring a historic estate and former plantation home located off of Louisiana Highway 23 out of West Point of Lahash in the Plaquemines Parish of Louisiana. That, from the end of Prohibition up until 2010, actually acted as the subject of Alfred Wad of Courier and Ives's A Home on the Mississippi, which was notably featured on Southern Comfort Bottles. Rumored to host a range of ghostly manifestations tied to its past, are you sure you're ready to brave the history and hauntings of the Woodland Plantation? Historically, in 1834, the Woodland Plantation was constructed under one of America's first chief river pilots, one Captain William Johnson, after which Johnson and his four sons would transform the expanse into a thriving sugarcane plantation, boasting one of the most modern mill operations of its era. Following William's passing in 1849, his son George Washington Johnson would take over plantation dealings. And sadly, it's documented through the slave census of 1850 that George would keep a total of 181 enslaved individuals, whose stolen hard work he would profit from. In 1897, Bradish Johnson, who was the third son to own Woodland, would pass on, after which his heirs would sell off their lands to the Wilkinson family, who would retain ownership until 1997, when, from 97 to 98, the property was purchased by Claire and Jacques Crepel and their son, Foster, who set to work on a total restoration and renovation before opening the manor in 1999 as a nine-room country inn. Into the present, the Woodland Plantation continues to act as a popular bed and breakfast, offering a range of rooms across multiple structures, unparalleled gourmet dining and drink options served within the Spirits Hall, space for weddings and events, and options in angling, bird watching, and more. Stereotypical of your classic haunted mansion, the Woodland Plantation has long been surrounded in a host of chilling local legends and ghost stories, with both staff and guests braving its expanse reporting doors that open and close on their own lights that flick on and off spontaneously, leaving all present in total darkness, and instances of objects sighted moving on their own or even floating in midair. Tragically, in life, William Johnson would form a business relationship with the dread pirate Jean Lafitte, who would sail slaving ships up Grand Bayou, delivering countless enslaved individuals to the plantation to be held in brick buildings that formerly stood on lands now holding the Spirits Hall, after which he would sell them along the river. Many believe the restless or even vengeful spirits of said individuals remain on site at the place where their earthly lives were stolen from them by evil men. And through the spirits hall, accounts of disembodied crying, moaning, and voices, the extreme feelings of anxiety and dread, and even encounters with full-bodied apparitions of abused and malnourished-looking manifestations are all but common. Several informal investigations of Woodland have yielded high EMF levels, crystal clear EVPs, and orbs in half form silhouettes in photography and video, while a spectral little boy has been observed roaming about plantation grounds, and has even been known to appear at the ends of guests' beds in the middle of the night, waking them with a chill. Others frequenting Woodland have told of the perturbing feelings of being watched, of being followed, or even of being brushed up against by someone unseen, of extreme temperature fluctuations felt in adverse weather, of disembodied bootsteps and commotion heard from empty spaces, and of encounters with the ghosts of two unidentified women and with a man who most often roamed the first floor of the big house. Lastly, the entity of Bradish Johnson himself has been encountered from time to time, usually in the main hall, and is often described as clad in striped pants and a silk hat, and as walking with a gold-tipped cane. Thanks for tuning in for this Paranormal Pit Stop. If you enjoyed hearing our histories and ghost stories, subscribe to our channel, like this upload, and share us with anyone you feel could use a good scare. Pleasant dreams.